Good morning. I'm just packing my bag for work. I have decided to like leave a little bit later. Um, now, just only like literally like 15 minutes because there's no reason for me to like, when I normally leave, I get to the studio at like 7.50 and I start at eight. So it's just unnecessary. So I can just leave like 10 minutes later and I'm still making it for eight. This is what I'm wearing. Just this top from ASOS and then my usual cargoes and then I just wear my Jordans. Um, yeah. Sorry there was no video last week. Sorry, my room's a mess. I actually did vlog, but then I watched it back and I was like, this is so boring, I can't even upload this. Yeah, I'm just packing my lunch. I've got a little snack pot as well. I have to go in for a meeting at, um, so the meeting's at nine. And then at about 10, I need to come back this side and go to the dermatologist because we're gonna try and get them to fix this lip situation because it's literally irritating the hell out of me um i don't have high hopes because nothing seems to work everything i put on my lips seems seems to irritate it so just come out of the appointment and yeah pretty much a waste of time <laughs> well it wasn't well it kind of was yeah it was basically i ruined my lips from when i was a child I used to have a really really bad habit of like picking the skin off my lips until they would bleed and my mum would tell me all the time to stop picking stop picking stop picking stop picking but because I never saw any like nothing would happen to my lips at the time I just kept picking and picking and hi this is future me um basically my camera um was cutting off so I didn't get the full story I was saying I have just been messing up my lips since i was a child um causing trauma to it and i think the darkness is just the effects of me picking for most of my life i just feel like i need a brand new pair of lips so she basically said the only thing that i could do is get laser for the um for the dark pigmentation i actually think the place that i used to get facials um does do something like that but god knows when i'm gonna get that fixed but moral of the story don't pick your lips i'm getting prp this friday um which i'm kind of i don't know why but I'm, I'm a little bit nervous i think because of the downtime like, the downtime for it like you are so swollen like your eyes look crazy and i'm just like i'm getting it done on saturday so i hope by the time i need to go back to work or be out in public the swelling has gone down i think because no one has done it before so it's like i can't even ask anyone like did it hurt or like just anything about it um, right i'm gonna head back to work hola <laughs> i am back from work my flies aren't done, that is embarrassing. Yeah, I'm back from work. Um, I actually stayed till six today. And I'll stay a little bit later tomorrow. Um, I just wanna show you what I have got. This is like the last of like the holiday bits, but Ego, Ego Official have been killing it recently. So I just got this Bando um, bikini top. It looks a bit big actually. I'll try it on later. And then the matching bottoms. Just super cute. I love it. I'll try and put it together. I mean, you're not really going to be able to see, but. Do you get the vibe? I'll try it on a bit later. I'm sure it will fit. I've put like a little powerpoint presentation of all my outfits like i always do this whenever i go on holiday i'm always so organized and plan every outfit down to shoes accessories bags um day outfits night outfits swim costumes like the lot like it's actually all planned out 
Oh, I got something from Mars Label, but I think I will show you when I'm actually there. I don't want to give away too much because I want to show you all my outfits. Then, for picture content, because basically I have, I film my vlogs on the Zony, Zony? Sony ZV-1, which also takes really good pictures, but it doesn't have a flash. Um, it doesn't have a flash like built into the camera. So, it was either buy a whole new digital camera or buy a external flash, which I went for the external flash. So you kind of just slip this onto, I think this part is called the horseshoe of the camera, like the top of the camera, and it just sits on top of the camera. Um, I have no idea what these are for, but you just turn it on like that, and then when you take a picture, it flashes. Tested it out, the picture quality is 10, 10. Because I just feel like iPhone pictures, I know like back in the day that was like all the rage, it's like iPhone, iPhone, iPhone pictures, but I don't know about yours, my iPhone personally is garbage. It is so bad, like, and I have the iPhone 14, it's not an old camera, like my mum's, I think she has a 12, or maybe even an iPhone XR, no, I think she's got, I don't even know, one of them, and her camera is way better than mine. Um, and I really want my content to look like really flawless and just like really, really nice on holiday. So yeah, I got this on Amazon. It was like £70. So I'm excited to use that. Just over two weeks until we go. I'm so excited, honestly. We, oh, it, like, it felt like we booked this holiday like three years ago. Yeah, apparently we're going to have like 50 days of rain in the UK. So... I'm trying to go on this holiday and I'm trying to go on another holiday. I didn't get a chance to go to the gym today because I stayed late and I'm not trying to be in the gym at 7pm. The gym really, really, really hurts my knees and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've bought like insteps, like instep insoles, I've bought resistance bands, I've bought, I've bought so many things to help me but I think the problem is I need to build the strength in my legs. Obviously, where I was dancing every day in dance college, I had really strong legs, but that is out the window. So I think I need to build the strength in my quads or my hamstrings. This is all information that I'm finding on TikTok, by the way. I look like such an amateur in the gym. It's not even funny, but the more you go, the better you will get it. That's the only way I can think of it because at this point, it's embarrassing. I'm gonna have a little shower and I'm gonna eat my dinner and then get ready for Love Island. Good morning, it is 7.15 actually to go like soon. Um I basically did some research onto the laser pigmentation lip removal thing. And yeah, the woman that I used to get facials at, well, I will be going back to get facials. Um, she actually does it there. And I saw on TikTok a girl has done it and she had like a similar, like, <laughs> coverage to mine. And yeah, she had like a couple of sessions and then it was kind of gone. I think it's something that I'm going to have to do, have to, whoop. I think it's something that I'm going to have to do in the winter. I can imagine you can't really have laser and then be in blazing sunshine not that it's blazing sunshine in the uk right now but i think it's something that's going to need to be done when the sun isn't fully 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 out so yeah that's something to think about another thing it just looks like i'm a smoker and obviously I, i'm not a smoker so i would like that to be gone it's amazing like i was speaking to my mom about it and she was like there's literally a treatment for anything these days gotta go to work got a pimple patch on today the work of an artist, of a creative. <laughs> now colour it in and don't go outside the lines. Sharpie. <laughs> Final result. The printer's not working, so you are the printer. Calligraphy gangster. Right, That's really nice, actually. Right. I'm sitting in the staff room today. Because it's just been a day. Me and Sarah are so over this day. I said no to my O's. Damn. Anyway, I've got a GDK. What else is new? Honestly, this is like one of my favourite meals. This is what it looks like. 
Get a good bite. Lemon iced tea. We sell this at work, but we've been out of stock for like a couple of days. This is everyone's favorite drink. I'm gonna sit and enjoy this, enjoy my half an hour break, and then get back to work. I'm back from work, but guys, so I think where I left off, I was eating the GTK. I can't lie to you, I feel pretty sick. I don't know whether it just didn't agree with me today but I feel like I'm gonna throw up you know when you get like that headache and then your mouth just feels extremely watery side note Victoria Monet has done it again that all right video the video for all right it's unreal I think I've said this before on vlogs like I don't really get excited about music videos anymore I just feel like they're just thrown together but the choreography the outfits the special effects the lighting everything was just as a dancer those are the kind of videos you want to be in like sick dance choreography just the production of everything is just was just 10 out of 10 I think she is a force to be working with. On that note, I am going to go home. What's this pimple patch saying? I'm going to go home, wash my face, take off this pimple patch and just lie down for like a minute or two. Good morning. My hair is kind of looking a little bit of a stay. I'm going to just put a slight curl into it. I need to buy some heat protector from PAX and just keep it in my locker. Let me show you my outfit. It's literally just this cord that I got from Amazon and my Uggs. I can't believe I'm still wearing Uggs and like not a sandal of some sort. But yeah, and then underneath I just have, hold on, this cute little vest top thing. Maybe I'll keep it like this. Right, I'm gonna make myself an iced coffee today, I think. Guys, never mind. I tried to put a lid on it. Hello, guys. I don't know if you can see that or the camera is picking it up. That whole, that coffee I made earlier went all over me, all over my Uggs, all over this. I tried to like get it out with um, like some washing powder, washing soap or whatever, but it's there for good I feel. I have leftover chili con carne from yesterday. Just gonna put that in the microwave. Chili con carne with some white rice and lemon iced tea. Hello guys, I am home. See if the sun was out, I'd be like so motivated to go to the gym. But all I want to do now is go and take a hot shower, get in my dressing gown, have my dinner, scroll on my phone for a little bit, wait for Love Island and go to sleep. Like that just sounds like the perfect evening to me. But it's fine. Next week I'm going to get back on it. I think I have like next week and the week after before i go on holiday so that's like two weeks for me to is it two weeks i think it's two weeks two more weeks before my holiday so i'm gonna get on it not that i'm like going to the gym for my holiday i'm going just i just want a i want a better shape but yeah this is um the light for my camera by the way which amazon i got this in the post yesterday but this is a second one. I know I only ordered one, so they sent me one for free. Um, yeah, so that's that's a little bit old. I don't need two of them. I wanted to quickly show you this. It's a hot comb. 
My mum actually got it, but I am 1000% going to use it. So it's a hot comb. She got it off Amazon. She got it for like £15. I think it was on, on like, it had a deal or something. Um, but the reason why she got it is that she, she's straight into hair. She doesn't do it very well, but she finds it really hard to like get into like these parts. So I said, if you've got a comb, it should just make it easy. Because you know, sometimes with the straightener, it's hard to like get really close um, to the hairs. And then I thought as well, hold on, let me plug it in. It's like so many settings. It goes up to a hundred, no, not hundred, 230. Um, but I'll put it on 200. You know, like when this happens to me, whenever I put my hair up in a like high pony, like the back here, if you can see, the back here is always like really, really, really frizzy and like just curly. I don't think it looks good. Where's my comb? Where's my, I literally just had it. Yeah, I don't think it looks good when um, when your hair's up in a pony and you can just see like loads of curly bits. I think it just looks really amateur. Um, I don't need to, I'm just gonna kind of show you. Can you see like, I don't watch my spot, but can you see? I don't know how much you can see, but like, especially here, like when I wash my face, the water just like makes my hair frizzy. So it'd be nice to just kind of smooth out in the morning without a straightener. And as you can see, like there's steam coming off of it and it's only on 200. To be fair, 200 is quite, it's quite um, hot. No, can you see? You can see how straight you can see all my acne but like it smoothed it out my mom used to use this on me when i was a child but like you know the one that you would heat up on the on the stove god it would take she used to straighten my whole head using that the only thing with a hot comb is i just feel like it is quite dangerous to use and then today has proven how clumsy i am I've been so clumsy recently and it's actually pissing me off. <laughs> See what I'm doing instead of going to the gym. <laughs> Could be pumping some serious weights right now. Instead I'm playing with a hot comb. So, ah! That's the thing with a hot comb, it's just like you just burn yourself so much more. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. The other day I was like thinking like, when I woke up in the morning and I wake up at like 5.30, I'm just like, I actually can't believe this is my life. Like, I can't believe I'm a nine to five girl. I still can't believe it, even though it's almost been, has it been six months? Starting in January, almost six months. I still can't believe I clock in at eight and leave at four every day, get the weekends off. Like, yeah, it's such a, it's very very different to what i was used to where i used to wake up at 10 sit around and do nothing pretty much all day unless i had a job but yeah now i'm like could i ever go back to being self-employed i don't ever like when i was self-employed i didn't ever really like stress about money because i just jobs would always come eventually um but i think if i was to ever go back to like being self-employed i think i would have a lot more anxiety about is work gonna come in but i don't think that'll be happening anytime soon so i don't have to worry but yeah every time i wake up i'm literally like Ugh! i just love my sleep i feel really 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 tired this week i decided to order nando's because i wasn't feeling the chili con carne and i'm watching some youtube I get a chicken wrap medium with no chili jam and fries. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is. You haven't been on my vlog in a while. I was just thinking about it today. Where are you? I'm not actively eating. <laughs> this is real life. This is this is raw. Hi Look. guys, I'm I'm what? Is she come? Yeah, I'm to be back. Ooh, tell us what you got. What are you eating? I'm having some oats. 
it doesn't look that great. So it has peanut butter, bananas. I forgot the chia seeds and what oh, else? No. Can we see or no? Oh, it doesn't look that great, but yeah. I show my outfit for today. Because I'm going out to meet Lauren later. We're gonna go for holiday shopping. Get in a holiday mode. Just enough. Oh wait, wait. I think I need to remove from charge me. Sorry guys. Ash is gonna give us a outfit. An O O T D. Go on then. I actually made an effort today. Yesterday you actually do every day, but sorry. No, I actually don't actually. But yeah. these are from Strawberries. These are from ASOS. This is from <laughs> This is from I think it's uh, probably ASOS and this is from Vintage. Ooh, wow. Look at this queen. <laughs> it was so nice to meet. Do you want to show your outfit? Go on. No. Oh, okay. Today's lunch. My favourite lunch. Roast chicken salad from M&S with sea salt and cracked black pepper crisps. I'm going to see this combo. Elite. Oh, I'm using my phone right now because it's embarrassing in public. Holding my camera. Women's section about the and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, where would that be? Holiday stuff. In a holiday shoe, she's treating herself. She's 60 pounds, is it kids? So cute, love that. Just come to Rapiano, it's for a little bit of dinner. Got myself a bolognese and an apple spritz. I don't actually know what Lauren got. And what did you end up getting? Um, this is Pomodoro. No, Pomodoro. Pomodoro. Just read this plain pasta, but it's really good. Um, it's a pink, like pink GMT. Just seen with Lauren that Zara do Zara hair. They've got like a wet look, sea spray. They've even got like down here blow dry and then. Um, a curl activator. How nice is the packaging as well? Come on, Zara. Hello. I am back from shopping. I'm at my feet. I'm wearing like those boots. I think you saw them earlier, but my feet are killing me. I'm going to give you a quick little haul now in the car whilst I have some privacy. I bought the Adidas Superstars. They're just plain um, white with black stripes and i'm gonna wear them to the airport so i got those and i got those for 60 pounds because i have tiny baby feet i got this hat i didn't actually see what this looked like in the mirror but lauren said it looked good and i think with my braids i think it's gonna look cute i mean it doesn't look good right now but i need a hat for the sun anyway so I just bought that one and this was five pounds. I got this cute little bag from Primark. It's just a khaki bag. Um, it's got lining inside and this was 10. I've got some pajamas and then the top to match is just like a little stringy vest top. I don't normally like to sleep in things like this. I like a cap sleeve because I, I do get cold, but obviously I'm going to be on holiday, so I'll be hot. Some, every time I go away, I always just buy like a couple of these cheap flip-flops because they're good to kind of just wear in the hotel room and out and about like if I'm going to breakfast or whatever. And the last thing is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder because the struggle is still very real for me to find a setting powder that one doesn't look too orange and two doesn't look too ashy and chalky. But yeah, so this one is um, in Deep Peach by Anastasia. And yeah, we're going to give this a go. I hope and pray this works because this cost me £40, which is ridiculous for a setting powder. Ready to go. I'm so excited. Two more weeks left. And then I'll be in sunshine out of this freaking UK weather. Right, Love Island starts in four minutes, so I'm going to have to watch it on plus one.
Good morning. I'm on my way to get my PRP done. I'm about a five minute walk away. Um, I'm actually, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I think because it's like blood involved. <laughs> it's kind of, oh, we lost one. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit, but I'm hoping everything goes well and hopefully I'm not too swollen. But yeah, I'll try and show you as much as I can. Obviously, I'm not going to show you injecting into my eye because I don't think anyone wants to see that. But yeah. Here we go. The numbing cream. He just took my blood and he's going to go spin it. No, he just came in and told me what's going to happen. He's spitting my blood and then he's going to add like some extra minerals to it to give me more of a plumping effect that goes like deep towards the bone um so yeah that would ho hopefully give me more of a plumping effect and he said like prp takes a while for it to work so we're just gonna go with this treatment and then we see where we need to go from there like if i need more if i don't need any more she also like this place is good because they give me a facial before, like they clean the skin. So yeah, I probably won't film anything else because I need to concentrate. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> that was so painful. I mean, tear trough, getting tear trough done is it's not painful it's just uncomfortable and i think i have a high pain tolerance but like that is literally something else right now it's pouring the brain so my biggest concern is just getting home um oh my god i might have to wait put like hyaluronic acid deep like near the bone so they have to use a cannula which means it just like i just i hate using a cannula you can just feel it crunching and moving and like there's just things that it's just really uncomfortable but the actual prp which is like um, inserted superficially so it's like just on the top layer of your skin that was fine like, i didn't feel that at all um but yeah i looked in the mirror and like it's it's really swollen and this eye they always say the left eye is more painful which it was i'm like do i brave it do I brave it and just walk in the rain? Because I don't know when this is going to end. I'm back in my car. Um, this is what my eyes look like right now. Um, not really too swollen, which is fine. I'm just going to put that on for now. He said that it might, the swelling might um, go up in the next couple of hours. But yeah, so far, so good um we're just gonna see how it goes obviously i'm gonna keep taking the collagen because i do feel like that is helping with like the hollowness um but yeah we'll just see how this we'll just take it one step at a time if i need to go for another treatment i'll go but he yeah he basically said that for you to fully see results it, it takes like a year so yeah i don't know about that but anyway so and yeah Thank you so much for watching i don't know if my content is boring or whatever but for the people that i mean tune in every week thank you and please like comment subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye